This video does not supersede any standard operating procedures that may be in place at your company. Consult with an expert when troubleshooting and to otherwise ensure that you are using the products and safeguards that are appropriate for you and the application at hand. If you would like more information after this video, please contact your Cooper Controls representative or visit www.coopercontrol.com. The Room Controller is a pre-configured, single-room lighting control solution that is easy to install and use. In this video, you will learn how to connect your power circuit and your lighting loads to your Room Controller. First, mount the Room Controller above the room's entry door. The Room Controller is designed for direct conduit connection. No junction boxes are needed. Simply connect any necessary conduit directly to the room controller in the designated line or low voltage areas. The room controller's normal power lighting loads are fed from a single 20 amp circuit. Before connecting load wiring to the room controller, connect the lighting loads directly to the breaker to ensure that there are no shorts and miswires. For room controller models that support 0 to 10 volt dimmable loads, Separate the 0 to 10 volt purple and gray dimming control wires. Verify that all lighting loads are full bright. Isolate one dimming zone and temporarily connect the purple and gray 0 to 10 volt leads together. Verify that the controlled zone dims to its lowest output level and then label the zone wiring for easy identification. Repeat this test for remaining dimming zones. The feeding circuit will provide power to the controlled loads as well as to the room controller's microprocessor. Connect the de-energized incoming circuit to the transformer's black line-in wire and also to the blue load-in wire. Identify lighting load switch legs for loads 1, 2, and 3 per your application diagram layout on your quick kit box. Connect the yellow lead to the wiring for load 1. the red lead to load 2, and the purple lead to load 3. Run the transformer and load neutrals to the neutral bus bar of the feeding breaker panel. The transformer neutral wire is the white wire with the black stripe for 120 volt applications, or the white wire with the orange stripe for 277 volt applications. Cap off all unused leads. The room controller model RC3DE contains an onboard 3 amp emergency lighting relay. This is a UL924 listed solution for emergency lighting control. Within the designated wiring space, connect the emergency fed circuit breaker to the blue emergency line in lead and the yellow lead to the emergency lighting load. Connect the load neutral to the neutral bus bar of the feeding circuit breaker panel. Under normal conditions, the emergency load will track on and off operation with load 1. When normal power fails, the emergency relay will close and the load will be forced on to full brightness until normal power returns. Once the line voltage wiring is complete, for room controller models containing dimmers, connect the 0 to 10 volt dimming outputs. The room controller's dimmer channels are identified as dimmers 1, 2, and 3. In most applications, dimmer 1 should be used for the zone closest to the window, while dimmers 2 and 3 are for zones further away. Connect the 0 to 10 volt lead purple wire to the positive location and the gray wire to the negative location of the appropriate dimming terminal. Repeat for additional dimming zones. After completing the steps in this video, your room controller should be connected to your lighting loads. Make sure to watch the next video in our series to learn how to connect your accessories to your room controller.